-hmm. So, uh, as you remember, in our last lesson, we talked about, what did we talk about? Uh, comparatives, yeah, we finished talking about comparative. And we discussed uh, the idea that you don't always have to use uh, ER or EST. You don't have to say bigger than, smaller than, the biggest, the smallest. This is correct. There's nothing wrong with it. But there are also more interesting ways of uh, comparing. And we talked about these uh, new ways. Um, so you could say, you can say, for example, excuse me, not as adjective as this is a great way of comparing um, or you can say different from you can say similar to all of these are ways of comparing two things or two nouns or two items without using smaller than bigger than this is this is the idea the idea so i think the focus of our last lesson if we if we want to summarize it is in my opinion i think it's this Mm -hmm. this little box because this is the, the the part which is kind of new to you not new new but maybe you haven't had uh as um you know a chance to practice this as much as you did with bigger than smaller than because you've been using this since elementary so it's not new but this one is i think maybe pre-intermediate intermediate it's not uh, it's not too old and also in my opinion i think the best exercise was this one number eight, because this exercise, yeah, it's a two in one exercise. You have to paraphrase. It means you have to rewrite the sentence, keeping the same meaning, but using different words. So it's, it's kind of, uh, it's a little complicated. It's not very easy, but it's very good because you get to use everything you've learned. So yes, these are and uh, you give us a question about uh, we are as old as and then empty ah you still remember we, it we yeah we we don't uh, uh answer this question yeah good thing you reminded me okay the yeah. right answer is each other we're as old as each other mm. each other so that's the, the answer we're as old as each other but your answer the one that you did the one that you I don't know who answered it. Was it you or Hajj? Uh, yeah, Hajar. but that what that one is also that one is also fine. When you say, for example, she's as old as me, or I'm as old I'm as old as her, it's completely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm as old as her. It's also fine. But uh, if we want to talk about it in, in the plural way, we are as old as each other. Uh, so you can do it without changing where. This is, this is my point, or was my point. But, uh, but the, the other two examples are just as good. So this was our last lesson. This is what we talked about. Yes. And we also started with the, the first part of this lesson. We, uh, we already took a look at the, these nice tips to keep yourself mm -hmm. and your house organized, to get rid of junk that you don't need. Um, yes, and know. favor uh, word for you. Yeah, stuff, what to do with stuff. Yeah. You don't, yeah. so you can keep, you know, uh, stuff that you want, stuff mm -hmm. you're not sure of. So we talked about this. Now, we got to number two. We didn't do number two because in number two, they want you to guess the yeah, meaning yeah, still... of the phrasal verbs. Yeah, so we didn't do yeah. this. So let's mm -hmm. start here, okay? Okay. So when we say give yourself at least two rooms to clear out, two hours, sorry, at least two hours to clear out a room. So what do we mean here by clear out? What, what does this word mean, clear out? What do you think? Uh, I think uh, put everything in the room outside. Mm, you mean, okay. So it's you're, you're using it like uh, empty. You mean like empty, yeah. Yeah, em yeah. empty the room. Mm. Mm, okay. What do you think, Malak? And uh, what's your opinion? Do you think this is the meaning of clear out? 
to empty the room or, or do you think we use it in another way? I think Malak is, is having a snack or something. All right, now what about sort out? What do you sort think? Sort out, uh, classify the things. Okay, so classify or maybe group the things, right? Mm -hmm. Mm, I think giveaway is kind of clear, right? Mm -hmm. But what's the difference between giveaway and throw away? Uh, give away, maybe uh, give uh, something to someone. But throw away, it's uh, put it in the rubbish, maybe. Mm, I think that's right. Mm. Okay, and then we say take them out. So put the first and the second piles into separate rubbish bags and take them out of the room. So to take something out, what does it mean? What do you think it means, Anna, to take something out? I think uh, maybe both of the... Um, can you I think have of... confused between uh -huh. throw, throw out and take out because mm. uh, both of them I think uh, collect the things and put it in the rubbish yeah? mm. I think would throw out or, mm. or throw away maybe Throw away, it sounds uh, closer to putting it in the rubbish bin you know, or in the trash bin, right? But take them out, when you take something out, what do you think? Does it, does it, ha does it always mean you throw it away? Yes. Hmm. Do you think maybe it has the same meaning as removing something or moving it from one place to another? So if you say, uh, if, uh, if someone asks you, take out, take out, uh, I don't know, take out the books from the room, take the books out, for example, if someone tells you, take the books out of the room, does this mean they want you to put the books in the rubbish? Uh, not necessarily, maybe yes. put it in another room or something. That's what like I that. think. Yeah, I agree. I, th it, I think not necessarily means to throw it away. You know, just remove them from one place to another, maybe. Mm. I think uh, tidy up is kind of clear. Yeah. But can you think of another word or another verb which has the same meaning as tidy up? Uh, not the clean. Put uh, uh, the things in order. Maybe put the uh, things in order. Okay. Or in the right place. In the right place. Okay, sounds good. Put away, when we say put away, what do you think it means, put away? To put away something, like uh, in the sentence here. It says, uh, tidy up the room and put everything away. Maybe put it in the uh, side or something. Put it on the side or, mm -hmm. okay. But does, is it the same meaning as throw it away? Or do you think it's a different meaning? No, no, different, different meaning. Mm, okay. Come back. I think this one is clear. Mm. Mm, throw out. Here we, th we have throw away and throw out. Is it the same or, or is it different? Throw away and throw out. What do you think? No, it's different. Different? Uh, what's the, what's the yeah. difference? Um, throw away, throw out, uh, maybe uh, about uh, maybe uh, like rubbish. Which uh, one is like rubbish? The, the throw, throw out? Throw, throw out, yeah. And throw away? Throw away, maybe... Uh, Maybe uh, uh, put uh, in um, out uh, something uh, you need uh, 
Well, thank you for a way of you uh, on another place. Okay, but what about put put away? Put away. Um, I don't know. The, 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 they mm. confused. The, mm. the meaning confused me. us. Mm. Mm. All right. What about go through? Go through. Um, um, go to mm -hmm. inside something, maybe go. How? How do you go inside something? Maybe uh, like do like research something you don't uh, use. Do you mean like check? Just check? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, okay. All right, so you can see that with these phrasal verbs, they're, they're, they're easy to understand in the sentence, but if you think of them on their own, they can be a little confusing because there are, many of them are similar, I think, or almost the same. So I'm going to take you now to the, to the summary, to the definitions, and this way we can see which of them have a similar meaning and which of them are the same, and this way we can understand them a little better. So, so let's go there. So uh, here, here they are. Uh, where are they? No, not here. I think they're here. Ah, here they are. <clears throat> Phrasal verbs. Can you see this? This little mm. box here. Let's start with the with the box first. So when you clear something out, in a way you're, you're, you're organizing it or you're tidying a room, a cupboard, you're getting rid of the things in it that you don't want anymore. I'm going to clear out the garage this weekend. So when you clear out the garage, you're going to remove everything you don't want, everything you don't need anymore. You get the idea? Mm. This, is, this is clear out clearing out something. This meaning not uh, uh, the room empty, just to clean the something you don't want. Yes, you don't. Let me see if there's a photo. No, there isn't. So clear out, clear something out. It doesn't mean you remove everything from the room. But, but uh, in a way, you're removing a lot of things. So if you're going to clear out your room, it means anything you don't want, anything you don't need, anything that's that's not necessary anymore for you, it's not important, you're going to take it out. After you take it out, then there is another situation. Maybe you'll throw it out, maybe you'll put it away. Do you get the idea? Then you'll manage it in a, in a, in a different way. But the first step is to clear out your room, remove the things you don't want, Take them outside, this is the first thing. Then we have to sort something out. So sorting out, just like you said, arrange, organize. I think there's another word you used. What did you use, Sana, for? Uh, uh, classified. Classify is also the correct, it's the same mm. meaning. Classifying things, this is, this is all related to sorting and it's the mm. same thing. Then we have give something away. So I think you also explained this correctly. Yeah. Mm. You said uh, that uh, it's different from throwing away because you're giving it to someone. Mm. So someone else will use it. And you're not asking for money. You're kind of just mm. giving it for free. So let's say you have two jackets and one of them is, you know, maybe old or maybe small. So you don't need it. So you, you give it away, right? Mm. And the other person might be happy because, you know, they'll get a chance to get something new. So this is the idea. Um, what else? Throw something away. Actually, it's the same. If you throw something, this is what Malak was, wasn't was sure about. Can you see this point, Malak? Can, can you read this point for us, please? OK. Uh, throw out. Uh, throw ST away. Uh, here's throw ST. It means something. It's, uh, yes. it's short for something. Yes, put something in rubbish bin that you uh, don't uh, want anymore. 
A, what uh, should I do uh, with uh, this mm -hmm. lamp? B, throw it away out. It's broken. So here you can say throw it away or throw it out. No difference. Do you get the idea? So if you yeah. say throw it out, it's okay. If you say throw it away, it's okay. There's no difference. So in reality, they're the same. This is my point. Take something out, remove something from a place. So can you take the rubbish out for me? Here the example is rubbish, but you don't have to take out only rubbish. You can take out anything out of the room. You know, take out the books. There's no space for that. Let's say you're living in, in a bedroom with your, uh, I don't know, sister or someone, and it's a small bedroom and there are too many books. So you can say, could you please take out the books? Put them in, put them in the bookshelf or on the bookshelf. Do you get the idea? So take something, it means remove it from one place, put it to, in another. Tidy, it's clear, tidy something up, you know, you organize it or you tidy it, put something away. I think when Malak confused uh, throw away with put something away. So put something away, it says you put it in a place where you usually keep it. Don't leave your clothes on the floor, put them away. So when we say put them away, is it the same as saying tidy or not the same? What do you think? The same, maybe. Tidy. Because put it in the... Where you put the... Where it belongs. Body. Yes. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's almost the same. To mm. put something away is the same as tidy it. Because when you tidy your room or tidy the house, you're putting everything where it belongs. So if there are, you know, clothes on the floor, you put them on the hanger, you put them in the cupboard, you fold them and you put them in the drawer. If they're dirty, you put them in, you know, the, in the washing machine with the dirty laundry, you know. So this is the idea. Come back, it's clear. You return. Yeah, and go through. You look at things carefully. You're trying to find, you're trying to, it's like scanning. You're scanning your things. You're mm -hmm. trying to check, do I need this? Is it important or not? So when you say, I went through everything in these boxes and threw away a lot of junk, this person had a lot of boxes. Like look for, yeah. Mm, close, but yeah. when you look for something, you're actually very close. Yes. You look for something, it means you're looking for something you want. It's just one thing. Do you get mm -hmm. the idea? Because you want to yeah. use it. So for example, let's say I've got something to cut. So I, so I need some scissors, right? Yeah. So, so I can say, I went through all my things and I finally found what I was looking for. The scissors, right? So I can even use them in the same sentence. So I'm just going to use this example. So I can write it so you can take a look at, at this example. So I can use it like this. I went through all the things in, in my cupboard, but thankfully I found what I was looking for. Or oh, let's make it more dramatic. I had to go through all the things in my. Right. So this is a story of of someone who who wasted the whole day looking for the scissors, right? So I had to go through all the things in my cupboard, but thankfully I found what I was looking for: the scissors. Do you get the idea? So when you're looking for something, it means this is a specific thing you want to use. That's why you're looking for it. It's one item. But when you go through something or you go through a box or you go through your things, you're trying to classify them. I want this. I don't want this. I want this. Uh, I don't want this. With the things you want, you'll put them in the right place. You'll put them away. With the things you don't want, you can throw them away. Put them away throw them away. Is it is it clear? Do you get the idea? Yes. 
Yeah, my leg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that's that's all. They just wanted you to kind of get the the point here. Okay. So this means we can actually go and do the exercise. What's this? Who are we here? No, no. Five uh, B. Five B. Okay, I hear it is. Mm. Yeah. All right, all right. So we did number two. Now let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is the next section. Here is the listening. So it says, "Look at the picture. Tom and Joe are moving house. What mm -hmm. is in piles of number one to three? So here's the picture. So this is the couple. Remember Joe and uh, what's his name? Tim, Tim, Tim. 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 Joe and Tim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here we have Joe and Tim. And remember, they were looking for a house. Remember when they visited all the yeah. houses from our last lesson? Mm. And uh, at the end, they decided to... What did they detached, decide? The detached, detached house. No, the terraced house. Uh, yeah, terraced uh, terrace, terrace, yeah. Yeah, the terraced house. And, and it's uh, in Bishopston. Bishop, Bishop, Bishop uh, right, right. But you remember that uh, one of the reasons why they chose the why they chose the the terraced house is because they already live in a terraced house. So all of their furniture and everything fits fits well. So that's why they want to take it. Yes, and near uh, to city center, that's why. Yeah, and it was cheaper yeah. than the other options. Yeah. So there yeah. were many reasons why they chose the why they chose it. Anyways, so you can see they're moving house, so they're organizing their things. Now the question is the three piles. Can you see the three piles? Mm. There's one. This is pile one. Can you see pile number one? Let me put a red circle on. This is pile number one. Can you see it? Pile number mm -hmm. one here. Is it clear or not clear? Clear. Clear, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. Can you see pile number two? Mm -hmm. And here we have the last pile, pile number three on the right. Can you see it? Yes. So the question is, what does each pile represent or what's, what is in each pile? This is the question, because here they want to ask you about the piles. It says, what is in piles number one to three? So we just want to, you know, quickly take a look and try to name some of the objects in each pile. Pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. Clothes and toys and box maybe. In number one, what, what can you see in pile number one? Um, maybe lamp. There's a lamp or mm -hmm. a lamp and shade. Bag. 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 Planet. Bag. A plant. Um, box with mm. pictures. Are these books? Do you think these are books? Box and box. Uh, and there is a box uh, inside, and there are uh, some pictures in this box. So we have a, a box. A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a box, and there are some Boots. photos in the box. Mm -hmm. What about this? Boots. There are some. There are some boots. But what boots. are what are these? Are they books? They look um, small. Do you think they're books? Maybe CD player. Maybe CDs, you mean? Mm -hmm. Maybe all of these are CDs. What do you think, Sana? Wallahi, maybe uh, magazine. I don't know. But they look very small. Do you think these are magazines? Mm. Magazines are usually a little bigger. Mm, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> mm. Okay. Maybe like what Malak said. Maybe you mean CDs? Mm. Mm. What about number video, two? What? Uh, video, uh, DVD. Yes, DVD. DVD. DVD mm -hmm. player. Some mm -hmm. letters or uh, some letters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's this? Magazine. Maybe magazine. These, they look like magazines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's this? Machine for printer. 
printer, printer yeah. a printer mm -hmm. and tv um, computer TV. or tv yeah computer oh. or tv it looks like yeah, a tv maybe right? computer yeah um, yeah it looks like tv yeah. mm -hmm. all right and in the, in the last pile what can you see here um box okay we have a pile of books toys toys beer. We... yeah beer. a teddy bear yeah. Right. And um, radio. Yeah, a radio or a CD player or something. Mm -hmm. And what's what's this in his hand? It is net. Uh, do we call it a net? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe track, track or something like that. Yeah. Racket. Track. Uh, okay. Okay. It's, yeah. Maybe it's a tennis racket? Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. But what about this this black thing? What is it? A laptop. Maybe a laptop? Mm. Mm -hmm. it looks like a laptop, maybe. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's find out. Why do they have three piles and what's the story? behind them and and in your opinion which which pile are they going to keep which pile are they going to give away and which pile are they going to throw away in your opinion what do you think because this is the question can you see the question it says which pile are they going to give away which pile are mm -hmm. they going to throw away and which pile are they going to keep in your opinion pile this is one two three which one keep, which one throw, which one give, give away, in your opinion? What do you think? We don't know, by the way. Maybe We're just uh, guessing. number three, maybe number three throw away. Number three throw away? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. or, uh, I number think three, number two uh, we will keep. They'll they keep. will keep it. Number two they'll keep. Number two, yes. Mm, but why? Why do you think they'll keep number two? Because there is a printer machine and, <laughs> and computer. There's a printer and computer. That's why they'll keep it. Maybe, yes. Okay, okay. You might be right. Mm -hmm. And even the letter here, how to throw away it. Maybe it's important letter. Mm, good point. Maybe mm. the letters are important. Mm. But what letters are usually important? What kind of letters are usually important for us, in your opinion? Um, especially the letter from the government or to, from the, I think it's important. Mm, you mean like official letters, formal letters or something? Yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe you're right. And even, and even from the friends outside, I think it's important, cannot throw because mm. it's like... Uh, you mean, you mean like mm, because of the memory and uh, yeah, yeah, so we shouldn't throw them away. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about um, what about pile number one? Do you think they will keep it, or maybe you think they will give it to someone or throw it away? What do you think? Um. What is number one? Uh, here with it. the plant and the pile. Yeah. Yes, and maybe uh, throw shade. away. Maybe. They'll, th they'll throw but, away this one? But yes, I think maybe. no, because there is a photo. Photo for who? I don't know. Um, Their hey. photos. Yes. Pi yes. When we say pi yes. one, Malak, all of it. Yes, yes, yes. A and B. Yeah, all of it. A, B, all of it. No, I think uh, maybe uh, there is something important for... Uh, no, my, my, my point is that when we saw them, there were three piles. Every one of them was a pile. It's not... 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 So the same yes. thing. So we have... Think of them as one of them. I think uh, three, maybe he will... Uh, like, uh, no, 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 no. Maybe one. That's less important from others. So, so they will, you think they will, do you think they will throw them away or give them away? This is my question. Mm, throw them away. Okay, but which one do you think they will give away? Uh, maybe uh, three. 
because they're good toys and books. Maybe somebody need the. Uh, maybe someone needs the books. Yes. Can, can maybe someone can use the books? You mean they shouldn't throw mm -hmm. them away? They should give them away. You think? Yes. Yes. But this mean this means they will keep the the printer and the the, the cassette player the the video cassettes is that what you think the video tapes? Um, maybe that's less important from the other. Maybe number two, he will they give uh, give them. And but which which three, one that's important? Which one will they I, keep? Each uh, time you keep maybe... each time you keep uh, changing your answer, Malak. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I uh, I uh, so some difficult to choose. <laughs> yes. yes. You, you want to keep everything, I, right? Like, you I want to keep your, uh, No, no. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, I see laptop. I think it's important. <laughs> You're right. Actually, and, uh, it's a bit hard to decide. And it is very <laughs> expensive. That's what uh, make right. me uh, make it difficult. <laughs> but do you think but maybe the laptop is old, maybe or broken? Do you maybe think? old. Maybe. Yes, yes, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's not a not an important laptop. Not maybe work. maybe not work. Yeah. Mm, maybe it doesn't work exactly. Anyways, it's hard to decide. I'm just getting your guesses mm. because we need to know the story behind each item, right? Because if we know a little more about the printer, about the laptop, about the photo. If you know a little more about them from, uh, from Joe and uh, Tim, maybe we can understand why they're going to keep uh, one of the piles, why they're going to give away one of the piles, and why they're going to throw away one of the piles. So this means we need to listen. Uh, number 44, CD1, 44, let's listen, let me take you to the track. Okay, CD1, is it one or two? It's CD1. CD1. CD1, 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 track 44. Here it is, CD1. Okay, so let's find out which pile they'll keep, which pile they'll give away, and which pile they'll, they will throw away. Let's find out. Track 44. Right, what's next? What about this old laptop? Actually, I'm going to give it to my brother. He says it'll be fine for his kids to use. He's picking it up tomorrow evening after work. Yeah, OK. So that goes in... The giveaway pile with the books. And what about that old printer? Oh, I think we should throw that out. It doesn't work anymore, so we can't really give it away. Right, so which pile? Put it next to that old TV and the videos. And what about these old letters? I don't know why you've kept them. You'll never read them again. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're probably right. OK, I'll throw those away. Right. And what shall we do with all these old photos? Oh, I'm in the middle of going through those. But we never look at them anymore. I know, but that's because they're not in order or anything. I'm going to sort out the rest of them at the weekend. Then we can get rid of the ones we don't want. OK, so we're keeping these for now? Yes. So, that pile? Yes, the one with the suitcase and the lamp. And can we throw out your old CDs? Sorry, I don't really want to get rid of those. But you'll never listen to them again. You only listen to music on your MP3 player these days. Yeah, but I want to copy the CDs onto the laptop. Then I can get rid of them. Fine. Put them in the keep pile. You really don't like throwing things away, do you? That's not true. I'm definitely going to get rid of this awful jumper. It's really ugly. Uh, that was a birthday present from my mother. Oh, was it? Uh, OK. I should probably keep it then. Not if you're not going to wear it. OK, I'll put it on the giveaway pile. We can take it to a charity shop. And what about your old tennis racket? You've got to throw that out. Actually, I'm going to give that to Julia next door. She's going to start taking tennis lessons. You're joking. 
That old thing? It's 20 years old. It's going to break the first time she uses it. Oh, it's fine for a nine-year-old. Right. What's next? What about these curtains? Mm -hmm. So what happened? <laughs> number three giveaway. My guess is wrong. <laughs> Your guess is wrong. Yeah, number yes. three. Number three is the giveaway number pile. Two. Yeah, yeah. throw away. Yes. Throw away. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Number one will they will keep it. And number one they'll keep it, right? Yes. And uh, number two will give uh, to the. No, number two uh, throw away. I... And number yes, number two, give two away. Away. Number, number three give away. Number three give away. Number two? Yeah. Throw, throw away. Throw, throw away. away. Throw away. Mm -hmm. And number one? Keep. Uh, keep. keep. That's it. Mm -hmm. That was that was the, the list, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And but why? Can why did they I mean why are why why are they going to, to give away the laptop? Because it's, uh, I think, uh, uh, old and uh, and uh, they will give to the his brother. His, his brother or his brother's kids are going to use it. Uh, I listen, kid. his brother. Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did say his brother. You're right. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I think I think it's not for him directly. Maybe for his nephews. They are the yeah. ones who, who are going to use it. I think that's what they mentioned. Mm. All right. And what about the jumper, the ugly jumper? The one that's on the on top of the books. What's the story with that? What do you think, Sana? No, I didn't you don't, you don't remember the, the jumper? Yes, yeah, me too. Mm. No. All right, okay, no problem. Let's see what they want us to, to, to do here. So we can, it says here, match these sentences to the things A to E in the picture. So let me just quickly show it to you here in two pages this way. It's better, let me zoom in again. Okay, now. Let me show you what they want us to do. They want you to match each sentence here with the letters A, B, C, D, E, right? So number one, it says he's picking it up tomorrow evening after work. What is it? He's picking it, it, he's picking it up tomorrow evening after work. Can you remember what it was? I think, I think the photo, I think the... But here, when we say he, are we talking about Tim or are we talking about someone else? Because when we say picking it no, up, no. what does it mean picking it up, by the way? When we say p to pick... We will... To pick someone something will up. take something, yeah? Correct, correct, correct. Mm -hmm. So what item is someone going to take tomorrow evening? What do you think? And here, here, the options are A, photos, B, CDs, C, letters, D, tennis racket, and E, laptop. So these are one of the options. What do you think, Malek? I think, I don't know, but uh, I think the photo. Mm -hmm. I don't you think the photos? You think someone yeah, is going yeah. to pick up the photos? Mm. But yeah. why why are they going to give the photos to someone? No, not give. Uh, I think keep uh, them. So if they're keeping them, this means how can someone pick them up? If they're keeping them. Okay, maybe CD player, CD player, CD. But CD player is CD. not included in the in the letters. You have to choose A to E, one of the letters only. Can you see the question? match these sentences with the with things a to e so only a to e you can't choose so mm -hmm. d the tennis rackets and d and e the laptop no 
and Maybe can see the, because... the letters. Mm -hmm. B, C, D, A, photos. هذا الخيارات فقط. Five options. Okay, let's leave number one. Let's check the others. مرات التانيات يطلعوا أسهل. Yes, you're, you're probably right. Okay, I'll throw those away. About letters. The letters. So this means yes. C. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, let's write it. I think you're right, actually, Malak. C. Mm -hmm. All right, so number two is C. What about number three? I'm going to start. I'm going to sort out. Sorry, I'm going to. Come on. I'm going to sort out the rest of them at the weekend. Sort out what? Uh, Maybe the about, photo. About, yeah. about, uh... What is something that yeah. needs sorting out? The photo. Mm -hmm. Photos? It makes sense, or right? CDs. Or CDs. Or yeah. CDs. So maybe mm. A, maybe B. Mm. But mm. I think A. You think A. You think the photos, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Because uh, he wants to copy them in the computer. But here in, in number uh, in number three, he didn't say copy them to the computer here. Yeah, he said, I'm going to will... sort them. Mm -hmm. Because they yeah, maybe look the... In the, uh... But look at number five, number four. What does it say? Mm -hmm. But you'll never listen to them never. again. Yeah, this is the CD. Oh, CD. Right. Mm -hmm. This is the CDs, right? Because this meaning number, number three, uh, the photo. Yeah. I, th I think you're right. It's 20 years old. It's going to break the first time she uses it. Uh, the truck, the truck. The tennis truck. racket. Tennis yeah, truck. tennis yeah. racket, yeah. So, for number one, there's only one answer left. Mm. What is it? Because the options are A to E. So we used e, all of them. E. E. Yeah, it means the laptop, right? E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you take a look, the laptop yeah. is E, right? Give, the uh, yes, give it for uh, his brother. Mm, okay, let's, so let's let's confirm these answers one last time before our prayer break. So let's check. Okay, so let's listen again. I want you to check your answers. Let's find out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Track 44. Right, what's next? What about this old laptop? Actually, I'm going to give it to my brother. He says it'll be fine for his kids to use. He's picking it up tomorrow evening after work. Yeah, OK. So that goes in... The giveaway pile with the books. And what about that old printer? Oh, I think we should throw that out. It doesn't work anymore, so we can't really give it away. Right, so which pile? Put it next to that old TV and the videos. And what about these old letters? I don't know why you've kept them. You'll never read them again. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're probably right. OK, I'll throw those away. Right. And what shall we do with all these old photos? Oh, I'm in the middle of going through those. But we never look at them anymore. I know, but that's because they're not in order or anything. I'm going to sort out the rest of them at the weekend. Then we can get rid of the ones we don't want. OK, so we're keeping these for now? Yes. So, that pile? Yes, the one with the suitcase and the lamp. And can we throw out your old CDs? Sorry, I don't really want to get rid of those. But you'll never listen to them again. You only listen to music on your MP3 player these days. Yeah, but I want to copy the CDs onto the laptop. Then I can get rid of them. Fine. Put them in the keep pile. You really don't like throwing things away, do you? That's not true. I'm definitely going to get rid of this awful jumper. It's really ugly. Uh, that was a birthday present from my mother. Oh, was it? Uh, OK. I should probably keep it then. Not if you're not going to wear it. OK, I'll put it on the giveaway pile. We can take it to a charity shop. And what about your old tennis racket? You've got to throw that out. Actually, I'm going to give that to Julia next door. She's going to start taking tennis lessons. You're joking. That old thing? It's 20 years old. It's going to break the first time she uses it. Oh, it's fine for a nine-year-old. Right. What's next? What about these curtains? OK, so this means your answers are right. It's mm. correct. Mm. All right, OK. 
So before we talk about the grammar, let's have a quick uh, prayer break, and then we can talk a little more okay. about the future, okay? Okay. All right, so I'll okay. see you in a bit. Okay. Okay.
Uh, hello, hello. Hello again. Hi. Okay, so we're back. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about grammar now. Uh, how are you today to now? <laughs> I'm Sorry. a bit better. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's it's good having a little break and. Yes. Okay, so we can continue. Okay, so let me change the the page. Okay, in this way we it's in one page. Uh, aha, so we finished number five. Now let's talk about grammar. So in in today's lesson, we want to talk about all kinds of all kinds of tenses which are used for the future. So this means will be going to and the present continuous all three of them because actually they they use them in the example and we also want to you know to talk a little bit, bit more about them how we should use them what's the difference between them this is the focus so in exercise a number six a we can see three different ways of using uh, the future so here i'd like you to complete these three sentences uh, using will, so I'm just going to box your options. Will be going to, uh, or yes, and the present continues. These are your options. Let's start with the first point. Can you read the first point, uh, Sana? Tell us what you think here. Okay. Um, A. Mm -hmm. We use uh, when we decide to do something at the time of speaking. Mm. Which one do you think? think I... You could just guess, by the way, because we're still not sure. Mm. Maybe... Mm. Okay, maybe, maybe it will help maybe. you if you check if you check B and C too. To check all of them. This way, it will be easier for you to decide. So in B, maybe it says B, plan. maybe. Maybe be going to. Ah, okay. Be going to for B. Mm -hmm. mm, all right. And uh, Malak, maybe you can help a little bit. Yeah. What do you think? Okay. Because uh, I think B is correct. Uh, okay. Uh... Um, be going, uh, not be going to, uh, will, will. Which one is will? Uh, uh, C. C, you think uh, yeah. if we have an arrangement, what does arrangement mean when we have an arrangement no. with another person? Arrangement, um, it is uh, something... Uh, yeah. Something uh, maybe uh, want to be uh, uh, ready for uh, for um, for to do something. Uh, we have an arrangement to do something uh, mm. with another person to do are something. You are you sure? When we we use an arrangement with another person. Mm. We use uh, when we decide to do something at the same time of speaking. Uh, that's present continuous about A. Mm, but can you give me an example of uh, someone who, who decided something or who made a decision uh, at the moment of speaking? Uh, can you give me an example of that? Um, I am reading a book. Okay, yeah. when, when you say I'm reading a book, uh, 
This is present mm -hmm. continuous for the present, not present continuous for the future. Yes. But but for example, if you say I'm reading, I'm reading uh, a book tomorrow. This is present continuous for the future, right? Yes. But but when you say I'm reading a book tomorrow, did you decide this now or was it arranged before you talked? Uh, decide uh, now. Mm, okay, but sorry. sorry. But, but for example, let's say, um, uh, remember the conversation when Tim and Joe were talking and uh, Tim said, You're, you'll probably, you, you won't read, you won't read the, the letters. So she said, yeah, okay, I'll throw them away. Um, yes. Here, if we go I back, can, yes. can, I'll show you. Can you see the sentence? Uh, I'll throw them away. Uh, number two, yes, you're probably yes. right. Okay, I'll throw them away. I'll throw those away. Yes, hmm. I uh, decide. Hmm. So one. you decide yeah. at the moment? No. No? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, will uh, A. That's correct. Actually, will is A. Mm -hmm. And B and is uh, continuous. Yeah. So mm -hmm. present continuous is for arrangements. Arrangement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it means you, it's like a plan. By the way, there's a very small difference between arrangement and plan. It's not very different. Um, I think the only difference is uh, an arrangement is, you know, it's like a, something scheduled. It's, in a, it's on a timetable, it's scheduled, and it's with another person. So let's, for example, let's say maybe Sana has a company and she's looking for workers, okay? And let's say Malak and I, we want to be part of the company and we want to apply for her job. So we call her, so she arranges uh, uh, an interview with us uh, tomorrow. So on the telephone, Sana will say, uh, for example, uh, or not, uh, not Sana, for example, you and I, will be talking. So I will tell you, I'm having my meeting at eight o'clock. What about you? And Malak will say, yeah, I'm having my meeting at 8.30. I'm having my meeting. Do you know why? Because it's arranged. We arranged with the, with the manager. We arranged with Sana. So everybody has this arrangement on their, on their schedule, on their timetable, you know, the, the calendar. So every one of us goes back home and we write on the calendar uh, Thursday, the 3rd of, is it the 3rd or the 4th of February? 4th. Thursday, 4th of February, 8 o'clock interview. Arrangement. Do you get the idea? Yes. Yeah, and the arrangement is like a plan, but the plan is a personal plan. مثلا, I'm going to travel next month. مثلا. So, here, I mean, there's a plan or there's a need for the thing. I'm going to travel. So, when a person says, I'm going to travel next month, I think it's going to be a holiday. I think it's going to be a trip or a holiday. Or a trip or a holiday. So, this is a plan. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to travel next month. مثلا. But the arrangement... تمشي كأكثر مع ترتيبات مع أشخاص تانيين. Will will هي هذه اللي نحكي عليها. ال will تعتبر الحاجات اللي تقررت في ما كانتش ما كانتش مخططة يعني وليدة اللحظة. Do you get the idea? ال will يستعملوا فيه بكثرة بالشكل هذا على العموم. الأشياء ما كانتش في ما كانتش في الحسبان أو ما كانتش مخططة وتصير وتصير يعني وقتي. Um, one good example I always use is, uh, let's say someone calls you in your, uh, in your office, right? And you're not there. You missed, you missed uh, the phone call. Or even on, your, even on your mobile phone. So you check your mobile phone and it says, for example, mom or dad, right? So you say to yourself, okay, I'll, I'll call him later. Do you get the idea? Mm -hmm. I'll call him later. It means you didn't plan to talk to this person. 
and you didn't plan to call him back انت ما كانش عندك علم انه هو حيتصل بيك ف I'll call him later or مثلا حتى لو اتصلت بتقولوا انا انت بتقولي انا انت مشغوله حاليا you can say uh, I'm busy I'll call you later I'll call you later ما ما يعني ما كانش مخطط شخص يتصل بيك وانت مشغوله في العمل او تسوقي the best thing to say is I'll call you later مش حتقولي I'm going to call you later مش حتقولي I'm calling you later حتقولي I'll call you later صح ولا لان الخطه صارت توا المكالمه انت ما كنتيش متوقع ان الشخص هذا حيتصل واتصل في وقت غير مناسب فانت بتعتذري او بتستعدي بتقولي I'll call you later Do you get the idea? حتى ما ما قلتش يعني ساعة قداش بالضبط انت انت بتتكلم بتتكلم يعني مش ما يعني كانها مفتوحه لانك انت متتفاجئتي ان الشخص هذا مثلا اتصل بيك في الوقت هذا I'll call you later وخلاص اول ما نوصل نكلمك او لا I'll call you when I get home امتى ما نوصل نكلمك I'll call you when I get home I'll call you back مثلا مفتوحه when I get home مثلا مش عارفه انت امتى توصلي مثلا فهذه فكرة يعني فال فالويل اقرب للاشياء اللي غير مخططة اللي صارت في لحظة التكلم هي هذه الفكرة. Alright now let's take a look at part B let's see what it says. It says here look at sentences 4 and 5 in 5A. خلينا نشوفهم نرجع لهم 4 and 5. Can you see 4 and 5? Can you see them? Yes. But you'll never listen to them again. It's 20 years old. It's going to break the first time she uses it. Okay, I did meet that So, let's check the question. What does it say? The question says, we use will or be going to, for a prediction that is based on present evidence, something we can see now. So this means we have a prediction, but this prediction is based on present evidence. What does it mean, present evidence? Malak, do you know this word, evidence? Uh, yes, uh, evidence, um, shahid, shawahid. Mm. Mm, yeah. I think you're anti garupti. Check him in the dars. I don't know. I witness. Shahid witness. No, um, yes. Maybe I confused. But so the 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 topic itself, the topic of the text, is correct. The way you can see it in the topic of law and legal English and the crime. هما مع بعضهم صح؟ witness اللي هي شاهد اللي انت قلتها و evidence مرتبطات ببعض. evidence اللي هو الدليل. الدليل. So when we when we when we make a prediction based on evidence this is this is D but in E it says we use will or going to for a prediction that is you know uh, It's a personal opinion, not based on evidence. prediction Okay? prediction present evidence. في دليل, something you can see now, right? يعني أنت تبني في النبوء بتاعك أو اعتقادك أن شيء بيصير بناء على شيء مشاهد حاليا يعني. now, okay? But the second point here, point E, يعني واحد يتنبهك وخلاص ما, you know, personal opinion. ما فيش, ما فيش evidence للكلام هذا. ف, what do we use? Do we use will or do we use be going to? But first of all, قبل ما نقرر, let's look at the sentences again. خلنا نرجع لهم ونشوفوا. Can you see this? First of all, in your opinion, what do you think? Which one is, which one has Evidence and which one doesn't have evidence? No evidence. What do you think? Can you, can you read that, Sana? Oh, yes. Hmm? 
but uh, you will never listen to them again. Okay, and and five. It's twenty years old. It's going to break the first time she used it. All right. Now, which of these two sentences has evidence? Something from present evidence. What do you think? I think um, and which one sounds like an opinion? Uh, number five, maybe opinion. Okay. And number four, is there evidence? What, what does evidence mean, Sana? Mm. When we say evidence, what does it mean? What, uh, what, what, Dalil, yani. Yes. Dalil, Dalil, Jarima, or Dalil. What do we mean? What Dalil, Aslan? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, مثلا, مثلا لك, uh, I'll, ch I'll check, I'll look at the sky, okay, tonight, and it's very, very cloudy, مثلا. so if I look at the sky I'll, and I say, it's very cloudy tonight, it's going to rain in the morning. This is a prediction. Then it's going to rain tomorrow. صح. But but the dalil is that it's cloudy. This is why he said that it's going to rain tomorrow. Exactly. Because in the Arabic, 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 in do you get the idea? Mm -hmm. yani I think it will rain. I think it will be cold tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it's going to rain. But it's going to rain. So you can say it's going to rain later. It's very cloudy and it was raining. So maybe it's going to rain later. Do you get the idea? Yeah, yeah. So, so this is a prediction, like you said, but is the prediction, is it based on evidence or is it a personal opinion? What do you think, Sana? The one about it's cloudy, it's very cloudy, it's going to rain. What do you think? Prediction based on evidence or prediction based yeah, on prediction personal opinion? Based, no, prediction based on evidence. Exactly because right. He, because he he saw the cloud. That's why he go uh, he uh, prediction uh, will rain tomorrow. Exactly, and that's why he's sure of his prediction. going to will. certainty, going to will in future, right? So you're right. Yes. So if we go back to the examples, we have number four and number five. Number four, but you'll never listen to them again. And number five, it's 20 years old. It's going to break the first time she uses it. This is, I think, going to break the first time. This is the prediction based on evidence. Right. Yeah. That's correct. Number yeah. Five. So number five, this is the prediction based on evidence. And what did we use in the prediction based on evidence? What did we use? Did we use going will? Going to. Going to. Mm. But mm. in the prediction based on personal opinion, what did we will. use? Will. 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 Mm. Mm. So this means there is a small difference in, even in predictions. Mm. So predictions can go either one of two ways, depending on whether your prediction is based on evidence, based on, on something you can see now, or whether it's based on personal opinion. So if it's based on evidence, you can use be going to. OK, 
اوكي بس اف اتس اف اتس ا بيرسونال اوبينيون انك كلامك خلاص رايك يعني you just use will okay so yeah. this is another another tip to keep in mind so very quickly let's let's review the tips so the first one if you decide something at the moment of speaking you need to use will right but if you decide to talk about your plans or your intentions this is be going to and if you have some kind of arrangement with someone else this is present continuous present for the continue. future all right mm -hmm. And the second tip is the ones that we just finished now. We have two types of predictions. If you have evidence, you can use be going to. If you don't have evidence and it's just your, your personal opinion, you should use well. So these are a few tips. Uh, so these tips are important because we're going to use them for this nice, this is a lovely, delicious, and juicy exercise, <laughs> number nine. <laughs> I, think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. Maybe you won't enjoy it, but I know I will enjoy it. Anyways, okay. so, <laughs> so let's let's go to the last part of the question. Actually, this one is the easiest one. This is just uh, the grammatical form. So how do we make the positive, negative, and question forms of will and positive, negative, question forms of be going to? So let's do this very quickly together. So if you want to use the positive of will, can you give me any example? Any example you like, uh, Sana, using will in the in the positive and okay. in the negative. Uh, I will go uh, to a museum. I'll go to the museum. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if it's negative, uh, I will, uh, will not. Okay. Won't. won't. Yeah. I, will... I I won't go to the museum. Yes. Correct. But if you say will not, yeah, but uh, it was. Uh... Yeah, the contraction is usually better. Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay, correct. Uh, then we have uh, the questions. How can you make a question using will? Uh, will you go to the museum? Right, correct. And mm -hmm. can you do a WH question? Uh, uh, maybe when? Will when will you go to the museum? Okay, all right, yes, when, correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, what about be going to, Malak? How can we make positive, negative, and question forms of be going to? Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to travel uh, next week. All right, and negative? Uh, I'm not going to um, I'm not going to travel next week right and if you want to make a question using going um, to are you going to travel next week right and wh question um where are you going uh, to travel next week right that's it so mm -hmm. now all we need to do before we do our exercise is just check the summary let's see if there's any information we need to to keep, to take a look at. Okay, here it is. So this is the summary of will, be going to, and present continuous. So uh, yes, you know, it's just a, the, answer, the answers are repeated, now. So we use will to decide something at the time of speaking, be going to, if we have a plan or intention, present continuous for an arrangement with another person, be going to for a prediction based on evidence, will for a prediction based on personal opinion. Okay. Then it says we. Uh, okay, nice tip. This is a very nice tip. We kind of mentioned it, but I think it's good to, to, to talk about this again. So here, Atina Mulahad, because the present continuous Benispal arrangements, the 30 bedroom stuff, the important thing you need to remember is this. We usually know exactly when the arrangements are happening. Do you get the idea? Zalmital Lidernal, Fisherikit Sana, Lamadena Mukabla Neumalak, 
So I'm having my meeting at 8.30, at 8 o'clock, and Malak is having her meeting at 8.30. This is خلاص, scheduled. Do you get the idea? Maybe yes, maybe no. It's going to happen for sure. It's happening. It's going to happen. It's happening. Do you get the idea? In the degree of certainty, the prison continues to be one of them. لكن بصفة عامة يعني ما مش مش مختلفة على هلبة على ال going to يعني اعتبره نفس الشيء. Do you get the idea? So, Malik would uh, have appointment in the clinic. Correct. If you have an appointment, you use, the prison, you use prison continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You can say I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm meeting my doctor at uh, five o'clock, مثلا. And I'm seeing my dentist at five o'clock. Uh, so you can use the present continuous, but you can yeah. just you can use the present simple too. Yani I have an appointment. Lo I have an appointment mm. at five o'clock. You should have. Okay. Um, and this example is very nice. I'm having dinner with Richard on Saturday. So you know, there's an agreement. There's an arrangement. Richard knows when. I know when. So it's uh, present continuous. Will you tell you it's down to present continuous? Actor man will be going to the maybe the first shakhs tani. And the third be my shakhs tani. And fi him moad. So here we can present continuous in the future. We can a few shwaya man will man will be going to be going to. It has a shakhsiya actor. The choices you are the shakhsiya. The things that you do. Not the actor. بس في العموم يعني حتى بتلخبطوا زي ما نقولوا واحدة يعني if you use one instead of the other مش غلط can you see this tip the last tip do you see what it says it says we can also use be going to to talk about future arrangements يعني اعتبر زي بعض مش هذا كالاختلاف سواء قل قلتوا I'm going to I'm going to meet Ahmed at five o'clock I'm meeting Ahmed at five o'clock You know, it's not a big difference. It's not a big deal. The will that will not be able to do it with the same way. It's a very different way. But the present continuous and the future will be going to, you know, there are, there are two faces of the same coin. You know, they're not very different. It's kind of the same. All right. So, Julie will. Now, with will, let's see if we have a question about it. نعطينكم الفورم بس هنا يعني كنا بنشوف لو في عليها تيبس اه هير ذي ار ذيس از وات وي ونت تو توك اباوت اورايت ذيس از ا نايس تيب سو ات سيز اوف كورس يو كان اوف كورس يو كان ميك ا كويشن وذ ويل سو ريمبر وين وي نعرفش هل في عندكم انتم ولا في البري انترميديت لما كان يوم الايفنت لما كانوا بيخططوا لايفنت تشارتي مستواكم هذا ولا في البري انترميديت دو يو ريمبر ذير واز ا ليسن اباوت تشارتي ا تشارتي ايفنت اند فور ذا انيمالز لا بريزنت نو 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 بري انترميديت بري انترميديت يا لكن كان كان في اللي هو صيغه طلب في ثلاثه صيغ طلب واحده منهم كانت كود يو كود يو فيرب مثلا كود يو برينج مش عارف شنو Can you bring? Will you bring? Uh, all three of these are ways to request something. And you need to understand them. The talabat the requests. This actor, him, actor, one of them, him, politely here. Could you? So could you is the one that you use for maybe your boss or someone you don't know. You can say, could you? But you can also say, will you? Especially if someone, for example, your son, your, I don't know, nephew, niece, someone who's maybe young, or if you're a manager, you can say to your employees, will you? Will you bring it? Will you take care of it? Will you call him? So it's a request. لكن اقوى شويه في في الطلب اللهجه اقوى شويه يعني هذه الفكره 
فهذه احد صيغ اللي هي الويل لو بنستعملها ك ككويستشن يعني بس الملحوظة اللي متكلمين عليها هنا ان الويل احيانا يستعملوا معها دو يو ثينك تو اسك اباوت يور اوبينيون يستعملوا فعلا الاوبينيونز بشكل كبير الويل دو يو ثينك يور سيستر ويل لايك ذيس دريس Do you get the idea? So if someone asks a question like this, they want your opinion. So if you say, I think she'll, I think she'll like it. When I say, when I answer this question and I say, I think she'll like it, في الحقيقة أنا ما عنديش evidence. مش based على evidence. Based على personal opinion. Do you get the idea? So if I say, I think she'll like it, there's no proof. Marat, Marat, she won't like it. This is just my opinion. I think she'll like it. You get the idea? Yes. So if you want a prediction based on personal information, based on personal opinion, this, this is very useful to use with Will. This is the idea. Uh, he'll probably, he'll definitely, and Will will Probably, he'll probably, mm. he'll definitely call you back tomorrow. Even if you say, even if you say he'll definitely call you back tomorrow, you don't really know. It's not a plan. Uh, for example, he's calling you tomorrow or he's going to call you tomorrow. Do you get the idea? So mm. he'll, he'll probably call you tomorrow or he'll definitely call you tomorrow. رغم أن تبان أن هي شخص certain ما زال بش بي بش بدرجة ال be going to okay uh, if you want to make will even softer ما زال يعني دب بتوروا أن احتمال ما يصيرش من الحاجة I might finish it this weekend يعني might طريقة طريقة استعمالها في الإنجليزية شبيهة جدا بكيف إحنا في في ليبيا نستعمل في إن شاء الله مثلا لو المدير يقول لك هل هتجهز غضوة مثلا هتجهز ان شاء الله فان شاء الله زي مايت معناها في الغالب مش حت... مش هتجهز زي it means you're not certain so you're trying to make it sound softer do you get the idea so might might is like this so if you say I might finish it this weekend it means there's a big chance you won't finish it it's a, it's a It's a 50-50 thing. Do you get the idea? Al mm-hmm. Aks, it'll be going to when well, the present continues. Be going to, if you say, I'm going to finish it this weekend, whether I'm finishing it this weekend, there is the certainty, Aliya. Ihtimaliyat and the shayyir Ali. Do you get the idea? With mm-hmm. might, with will, aqal, with might, mazal aqal, aqal hata min al will. I might finish it, Rauma, and in Tawjo. Inshallah, inshallah, to Tijid, inshallah. It's a bit like this. Okay, last point. You can also use it for future facts, for offers. This is a nice way of using well. Can you see this? It says, I'll be, I'll be 45 next birthday. I'll help you clear out the, the study. So this is an offer. This is someone offering help. It's not a prediction. It's not a plan. It's not an arra- arrangement. It's not an arrangement. It's, it's just an offer. I'll help you with your exam if you like. I'll help you. Um, so it's you know how they offer. Will you give that a fact? Fact from Stockman. I'll I'll be 45 next birthday. It's not an opinion. It's not a prediction. It's just uh, it's just a fact. Okay. Do you get the idea? Yes. So these are some of the differences between be going to, will, and present continuous. So if I'm a little present continuous will be going to, يعني خلطوا مع بعض اعتبروهم شيء واحد ما فيش هذاك الاختلاف الكبير. The will هي اللي مختلفة شوية. The will it, uh, you use it only for opinions and things which you decide now at the moment of speaking. This is when you can use well. غير هيك ما ما تستعملوهاش يعني بصفة عامة. يعني من ناحية إحصائية if you want to if you want to use uh, if you want to talk about the future just use be going to all the time بصفة عامة. I'm going to blah blah she's going to blah blah he's going to خلاص هذه أكثر واحدة safe فيهم. 
بحيث يقول واحد نفسكم تستعملوا فيها اكثر يعني. All right. So before we do number nine, قبل ما نديرو number nine, let's do number seven first. هني نبيكم تتمنوا شوية على قصة uh, which which future form do you hear? Okay. So it says here, listen and write the sentences you hear. So you, if you if you don't have a pen and paper in front of you, you might need a pen and paper. Do you have a pen no, and paper? Sana, you For do? me, I have. Okay. Yeah, I have. Malak, do you have a pen and paper with you in front of you? Near you? Yes. 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 All right. Nice. Because here, what you're going to do is you're going to listen to the sentences. And don't worry, if you don't get it the first time, you will hear it the second time. So it's going to be played each sentence twice. And even if you don't get it after the second time, I'm going to repeat the track again. All right. Okay. So don't worry if you don't get it the first time. So just be a little patient and don't talk during the, the recording and then we can repeat the whole thing again. So very quickly, let me explain this the question one last time. It says, listen and write the sentences you hear, okay? So you're gonna listen and you're gonna write the sentence you hear and you will hear each sentence twice. So this is Khalina and B and C. Let's just focus on A now. So let's do question A. No, 45, sorry. Right, what's next? <laughs> One. I'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow. I'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow. Two. It's going to rain in a few minutes. It's going to rain in a few minutes. Three. I'll put away all the stuff we want to keep. I'll put away all the stuff we want to keep. Four. I think he'll become famous one day. I think he'll become famous one day. Five. We're having some friends round for dinner on Saturday. We're having some friends round for dinner on Saturday. Okay, let's see the sentences you wrote. Yes, and then yes. and then we'll repeat yes. it one more time. So, number 1, what did you what did you write? I'm going to sort tomorrow. Sort, sort out. Side. Sort out, yes. Living room tomorrow. I'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow. Is that what you heard? Yes. Okay. Okay. Number 2. It's going to it's going rain to, to in rain a few minutes. For a few minutes. For a few minutes or in a few minutes? In a few minutes. What did you write, Sana? In a few minutes or for a few minutes? For a few minutes. I don't know. Okay. It's going to rain for right. a few minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, number three, what did you write? I will put away all the stuff. Mm -hmm. All the stuff. Mm -hmm. Want to keep it. Uh, what did you write, Malak? Uh, there are some words missing, <laughs> I didn't hear. But I write, <laughs> I'll put away uh, all, all the stuff. stuff. I want to keep. That's what I write. Okay. <laughs> Even me, I don't catch the last uh, thing. Don't worry, because we're going to listen again. Don't worry. Number mm -hmm. four, what do you have for number four? I think I you think... will become famous one day. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you agree on this one. Uh, number five. We, we are having some, some friends for, <laughs> for, di for dinner. We, we are having some friends for dinner. Is that the same thing you have, Malak? No, we're having some uh, um, missing word. Then Saturday 
for dinner. Uh, okay, not the same. Mm -hmm. And I think there's six, right? There's a the last one or five? Only five. 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 five only five. 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 No, only yeah. five. All right. Let's let's hear them one more time. Let's listen again. Track forty-five. One. I'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow. I'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow. Two. It's going to rain in a few minutes. It's going to rain in a few minutes. Three. I'll put away all the stuff we want to keep. I'll put away all the stuff we want to keep. Four. I think he'll become famous one day. He'll become famous one day. I think he'll become famous one day. Five. We're having some friends round for dinner on Saturday. We're having some friends round for dinner on Saturday. Okay. So, number one. I'm going to sort of um, living uh, room of tomorrow. The living room tomorrow. Sort of? Sort out. Sort, sort out? out. Mm. Mm. Which one? Sort of or sort out? What do you think, Sana? Maybe I hear it sort out. I don't know. <clears throat> the Hajar is not here. Because we were supposed to give her chocolate if she answers this <laughs> correctly. <laughs> okay. Don't worry because I'm going to show you the the, the, the script so we can we can mm. check. Okay, okay, okay. So so this means number one, you're you're not you don't have the same answer, right? This is what I, I'm trying to find out. What about number two? It's um, going to, it's going to, uh, in, uh, it's going to uh, rain in a few minutes. Mm. It, it's going rain or it's going to rain? It's going to rain in a few, in a few minutes. In a few minutes or for a few minutes? In a few in minutes. A, in a few minutes. Ah, okay, number three? I'll put away all stuff uh, we want to keep. Yes. Again? I'll put I'll away put all stuff we, we want, want to, to keep. keep. Okay. And the next one? I Number think you'll become famous I'll one day. Mm. What do you have, Sana? I'll... I will... I'll think he become famous one day. Is that the same thing you have, Malak? No, I think you will become famous one day. So the will, is it with you or is it with I? With you. Mm -hmm. mm, what think do you think? He, he become famous one day. I'll think he become famous one day. Okay, so we don't agree on this one. This is number four, right? What about five? We having some friends around for Saturday for dinner. And what do you have, Sana? I mean, we having, we are having some friends for dinner on Saturday. Is that what you have, Manak? We, we're having, is it we're having or we having? We're having, yes, we're having. Mm. All right, okay. Let me show you the, the, the track. Mm -hmm. So this way you can confirm your answers. So CD2 track 45. Here it is. Can you see it in the middle? Yeah. Let me put them yeah, in a yeah. box. 
All right. So the first one is I'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow. Yes, only the, the living room. The living room. So you forgot that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's going to rain in a few minutes. Mm. It's going to we rain. Yes. In a few minutes. Number three. Yeah. I'll yeah. put away all the stuff. You also forgot that, I think. I'll mm. put away all yeah, yeah. the stuff we want to keep. I'll put away yeah. all the stuff we want to keep. Number four, I think he'll become famous mm. one day. Yes, this is... Uh... Yeah. So it's not mm. you, Malak, it's he. Yeah. But uh, will not with I. Correct. With, uh, he. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're, you're closer. I'm always insulting. Yeah. You're, you're I a bit hear closer. he. I hear he, but uh, yeah. I don't well. Like, uh, and yeah. Just, and I, I hear well. <laughs> She's closer. So this means yeah. she gets, she, Malak gets half a chocolate and you get no chocolate, Sana, mm. for this Okay, exercise. no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number five, it says we're, we're having some friends round for dinner. I think you didn't get round. You said no, our, I stayed yeah. round. You yeah. said? I stayed round, yes. Ah, okay. I stayed round. Uh -huh. No, for me, no. Okay, okay. I now, guess. now the second part of the question, uh, I'm going to repeat the, 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 the CD, but only for number one and two. I want you to listen to the going to, because they said it in two different ways. I don't know if you have paid attention. Did you pay attention? They didn't say it in the same way going to yeah in the second uh, sentence i think like two it's not clear going it's, not, it's short maybe yeah. i heard uh, mm. what did, what did you hear malak for number two uh gone maybe gone gone is that what you heard too uh sana gone did, is that yes and in the first sentence it's clear but gone. in the second mm -hmm. it's uh, not mm. without ing not ing okay okay let me repeat it for you just listen to number one and two only okay pay attention to to how they say them and listen to the difference track 45 one i'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow i'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow so this one how did he say it? I'm going to. Going. I'm going yeah. to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen to the second one. Two. It's going to rain in a few minutes. It's going to. It's going to rain in a few minutes. Right. He, he gonna rain. It's going to rain. Mm -hmm. he, rain. Yeah. yeah gonna he, he didn't say going to rain. He said gonna rain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. So this means actually both forms are correct. Both are correct. You can say going to, or you can say gonna. Mm. And this is question B. They wanted you to, to talk about the two different ways that we say going to. So sometimes you can hear it going to, but sometimes they just say gonna. It's gonna come, it's gonna rain, I'm gonna travel. Uh, we're going to do this exercise together and then we're going to have some tea and then we're going to have a good time, gonna. So, it's time to find. All right, so this was the listening okay. part. Now, let's go to the exercise part. Okay, so we can skip What this. about tea? There is tea. It says match the sentences you wrote in 7a. Ah, okay, this is a good one. We should do it, yeah. So here, what they want you to do is to match the sentences you wrote, the sentences we just mm -hmm. checked. So maybe if we go back to the scripts so we can do it from there, I think it might be better. So what they want us to do here this time, they want us to match the, the, the well, CD245, shoot. What a 46 count. Ah, here they are. Can you see them? No, I'm sure I do. Mm -mm. Is it CD2 or CD3 or CD1? 
I think it's CD1. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. yeah. All right, so now what you need to do is to match each one with the rule. So when I say rule, I mean, is it, is it an arrangement? Is it something you decided at the moment of speaking? Is it, uh, is it a plan? Is it a prediction based on evidence? Is it a prediction based on personal opinion? So you have five rules, five categories or five classifications. Do you get the idea? Mm. So I'm going to open a little list here and I want you to tell me each one. So what's number one? I'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow. What is this? What do you think? I have a good idea to make it easy. Let's do it like a matching question, okay? So we have uh, uh, deciding at the moment of speaking. No. Okay, this is one of them. Yeah. Then we have future plan. Let's say future plan or intention. The third rule is a future arrangement. And the th fourth rule is prediction based on evidence. Okay. Uh, then we have prediction, prediction based uh, on opinion. Opinion, no evidence, opinion. And let's give them numbers. So, or let's give them letters. Sure, the S head matching. So this is A. This is B. This should be C. This is D. And this will be E. Okay. So let's just move the page. So sort of nice. All right, so let's match. Number one, I'm going to sort out Number the one, uh, arrangement. Uh, what is arrangement? Yes, future arrangement, number one, to mm. see. Okay. Uh, for me, B, future plan intention. Mm. Okay, so we have a disagreement. Let's leave number one. Let's do number two. Number two, it's going to rain in a few minutes. This is D, prediction based on evidence. Okay, so let's match it. What do you think, Malak? Do you agree with her? Do you think this is a prediction based on evidence? Or do I you think th prediction, uh, yes, yes. Or do you think it's a prediction based on opinion? Opinion, yes, yes, opinion. Opinion, mm, so we have a disagreement in number two, too. What about number three? I'll put away all the stuff we want to keep. Uh, this is decide at the moment of speaking. Oh. Yes, me too. So you agree on this one. Mm. Okay, so let's, let's match this since you both agree. Let's match it. All right. I think he'll be famous. Uh, I think he'll become famous one day. Uh, D, D, and uh, yes, D. Mm. For me, D. No, okay. no. E, E, E. Prediction based on opinion, because mm. he told the opinion he will. Don't know. But th did he give any? Did he give any evidence in number four when he said, "I think he'll become famous one day"? Is there any evidence to support this statement, or no evidence? Maybe he saw something about uh, what mm. he think. Okay, mm. maybe. Okay, last one. 
we're having some friends round for dinner on Saturday. This is future arrangement. Hmm. Okay, now I'm going to help you a little bit. <laughs> because there's too much disagreement. So when you decide something at the moment of speaking, what should we use? What do we normally use when you decide? Do we use... Present continuous. Present continuous, yes. What do you think, Sarah? Yes, yes, arrangement, when yes. We use well, I think. If you make... When decide if... at the moment of the speaking. Correct. Yes. You're right. Because what do you told us the, the example about uh, when uh, my father or my mother call me and, and I am busy, I will call you Correct. later. Correct. This is uh, what I... <laughs> Uh, you're right. You're right. Mm. When you decide something at the moment of speaking, it means it wasn't planned. Mm -hmm. But what about a future plan? Let's say this is something you've already planned. I'm going to. Right. Be going to. Be going to. So we use be verb to be going to. That's correct. What about future arrangements? What do we use for future arrangements? Present continuous. Right. We use the present, present continuous. Where's the E? What about uh, a prediction based on evidence? Uh, what do be we going use? to. Correct. We use be going to. If you want to make a prediction based on evidence, you should use be going to. What about a prediction based on opinion, not on evidence? What do we use? Well. Right. Okay. Correct. So if it's just based on opinion, we use will. OK, so maybe this will help you choose. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow. What is this? I'm going uh, to sort out B, future plan, B. plan intention. Yes. Correct. This is B, right? Okay. What about number two? It's gonna rain in a few minutes. Um. Uh, prediction based on evidence. On evidence. Yes. That's right. It means the person who said this maybe was looking at the cloud, clouds, yeah. or maybe it, it just started to dribble, to you know, there. a few yeah. drops. He felt a few drops on his forehead. Do you get the yeah. idea? So he, yeah. he has the evidence. He's not saying this as an opinion. He actually felt it maybe. All right, I'll put away okay. all the all the stuff we want to keep. I'll put away all the stuff we want to keep. A. Correct. This person yeah. just just decided this. Maybe maybe Tim was talking to his girlfriend or wife or whoever, and maybe she started screaming or shouting. He said, "Okay, okay, okay. I'll put away all the stuff we want to keep." Maybe she started crying because he wanted to throw away everything. <laughs> so she started a fight. He said, okay. And he made a new decision. He said, I'll put away all the stuff we want to keep, okay? She said, okay, and everybody's happy. Now, number four, I think he'll become famous one day. Prediction based on opinion. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is, the, maybe the person believes in him. Maybe, maybe he'll be right, by the way. Yes. Yeah, who knows? But it's an opinion thing. All right, mm. and the last one, we're having some friends round for dinner on Saturday. Future arrangement. Yeah, this is a future arrangement. So everything is organized. Uh, everybody confirmed. They said we're coming. We agreed uh, mm. to meet at nine o'clock. We agreed on the place. We agreed on the guests. We agreed on the meal. Everything is arranged. So we're having, we're having some friends. So these are, you know, different ways of talking about the future. Now, keep in mind, we're gonna use these five rules to answer the exercise we're gonna do together now. So let's go there 
and let's do this exercise. I think in some, in some of them, in some of the spaces, uh, I think you can use more than, no, no, you can't because there's listening. All right, so take a few minutes. Let me read the question for you. It says, read the rest of Tim and Joe's conversation. What are they going to give away, throw away and keep? Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so you need to choose the correct answer. So take a few minutes, read the conversation till the, till the end and we'll listen to check your answers. Have you finished? Yes. Yeah. Are, are you sure of your answers? <laughs> Inshallah. 
Okay, let's find out. Okay, let's see your guesses first before we play the track. So, so we can we can find out. I have a very annoying cat. Me too. Very lucky, but go away. Play there. They're worse than children. Okay, so let's start with number one. So, mm, what did you what did you answer for number one? We have two options. He'll use. He's using. What do you think? Uh, he'll use. Do you agree, one. Malak? He'll use, or did you use? He's using. Uh, he's using. He will use, yes, he will use. Ah, uh, okay. Well, yes. What about number two? I'll throw them away. Yes, Six. even me. All right. Mm. Number three, he's coming, he'll come. He's coming. He's coming, he's coming. Ah, uh, okay. Number four, mm -hmm. I'll put, I'm going to put. I'm going to I'll put. put. Ah, okay, so we have two different answers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's use blue and let's use red for the other one. Mm. Okay. Uh, what about uh, number five? I'm starting, I'm going to start. I I'm, going. I'm going to start. Sana? Yes, even me, I am going to start. Okay, so same answer. Mm. Uh, Joe, it's, good. it's looking, it'll look. It's it will look. Both of you, same thing, Malak, it will look. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm. Okay, then we have number seven, we're meeting, we'll meet. We will meet. We are meeting. Mm. Okay, so we have different answers. So let's We use... are meeting, we are meeting because uh, arrangement. All right, okay. Number eight, I'm finishing, I'll finish, sorting out this stuff. I'll finish. I'll finish. Uh, okay. Mm, okay, so you agree on almost all of them, except number four. Yes, except one. Mm. Okay, so let's play the track. Let's find out which answers are right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sort out the living room tomorrow. 47, sorry. Mm -hmm. What about these curtains? Shall we give them to your brother? Sorry, but I don't think he'll use them. Okay, I'll throw them away. They're really old anyway. And what about your guitar? Barry wants that. He's coming to pick it up on Friday. Right, I'll put it in the giveaway pile. Do you want to keep your old trainers? Yes, definitely. I'm going to start running again soon. <laughs> yeah, right. Shall we keep this mirror? It'll look nice in the new house. Yes, why not? Oh, is it half past three already? Don't forget we're meeting the estate agent at four. You go. I'll finish sorting out this stuff. OK, see you later. Bye. Bye, darling. Right. Now he's okay. gone, I can start doing this properly. Let's throw out those smelly old trainers for a start and that broken tennis racket. Oh, and I'm definitely keeping all my old love letters. <laughs> Okay, what did she say at the end, uh, after her husband left? Mm. Uh, about rockets, uh, she talked yeah. about. And trainers. She, she wants to throw away his things? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and she's going, she also talked about her love letters. What is she going to do? Is she going to throw them or keep them? I don't know if you heard no, that. No, he, um, he throw. They, they agreed to throw them, but I'm just going to play the last part. Uh, just listen at the end, what she said, after he left. Track 40. Oh, and I'm definitely... And that broken oh. tea's gone. I can start doing this properly. OK, see you later. Bye. Bye, darling. OK, now, after he left, uh, listen to what she says on her own. Right. Now he's gone, I can start doing this properly. 
Let's throw out those smelly old trainers for a start. And that broken tennis racket. Oh, and I'm definitely keeping all my old love letters. <laughs> what did she say? Mm. He's definitely uh, keep uh, this love. Keep uh, mm. this love. Mm. Yeah, she doesn't want to throw them away. She wants to keep them. Yeah. But she's going to throw his things away. Yes. <laughs> this, this is what women do. That's why, that's why men <laughs> die early. That's why we live shorter, <laughs> because of these things. Okay. Now, now, who answered I'll put and who answered I'm going to put? And I said I'm going to put. Ah, okay. So th this means you have... Yes. My yeah. answer is drunk, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so Sana is the winner tonight. All right, so, so you can see this is the idea of how to use the future. Uh, there are many different ways. We use it in different mm -hmm. ways. Um, so depending, depending on what you want to say, you can use a, yeah. different, a different tense. This is, this is the idea mm -hmm. that, we, that we study today. My advice is do the workbook because this is very easy to forget and uh, maybe you'll, you'll forget about it and you'll start confusing the whole thing together so if you do a few exercises tonight of course this will help you remember it so this means in our next lesson we will do number 10 we can practice mm -hmm. we can write a few arrangements we can talk about things we planned so we can use these same five rules we talked about and we can do do them about ourselves and we can tell each other about this so we can start here in next lesson uh, we can also do this and then some of the things you want to get maybe in the future. So we can talk about this using some of the, the words in the box. And after that, we'll talk about birthdays. In this lesson, we're going to focus on verb patterns. So verb pattern is a very important topic in vocabulary. So uh, it's, it's quite detailed, but it's very, very useful. Because in English, in verb patterns, we use different verbs in different ways. So the idea with a verb pattern is when you have two verbs together, one of them will have to change. You cannot use two infinitives. So you cannot say start, go. You have to say start going, start doing, start studying, start playing. Do you get the idea? So yeah. we always use verb plus ing after start. The same thing with decide. You have to use an infinitive with two. Decide to take, decide to go, decide to play. But with can, we use infinitive directly. We say can play, can go, can take, can drive, right? Yeah. With tell, you have to use an object. Tell him to come, tell her to drive. He told us to start. We're telling him to go. Do you get the idea? You have to put an object. Mm. The same thing with make. Make him play, make him start, make him come, make her write, make them listen. Do you get the idea? So we'll talk mm. a little bit about this. It's not hard, but you know, it's detailed. But it's very, very useful. If you understand it, it will help you a lot in your vocab. So we'll do this. We'll do a bit of listening and we'll talk about birthdays. This is our topic for Saturday, okay? So thank okay. you for your time, and uh, I'm sorry we started late uh, today. I told Shweya, I can hopefully on our next lesson we can start maybe at six o'clock, inshallah. Inshallah. Thanks a lot. All right, you're welcome. Thank no you. problem. No Good problem. night. You're Good welcome. night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.